Hello everybody, my name is Adam. Uh, in this tip of the week uh, we will create uh, these uh, footprints that you can see on the this reference image. Also we will create uh, these uh, tire tracks. Uh, I'm gonna use the uh, brushes that I create uh, for ZBrush to get this type of uh, footprints. So. I want to use this uh, scene from uh, uh, Arch Exteriors uh, uh, 15. Uh, it's here, the render. So I just delete this car and uh, and I will replace this uh, bricks with a uh, mat. So here is the scene. So far I create this. Uh, uh, ground here will be uh, my uh, fo footprints and uh, all these uh, tire tracks. But first, let me check the UVs. I don't want to waste this uh, space here, so I divide this uh, plane into four pieces. Something like this. So no space is waste. Also it would be nice if this uh, object wouldn't be so straight. So I will just tessellate this a few times and grab here uh, this uh, dots Oops. Let's check the camera view. Okay, something like this. And I think now I can uh, export this to ZBrush. So let's export this to OBJ. Make sure the texture coordinates are checked. Now when I am in ZBrush I will import this uh, OBJ that I e exported. It's here. And paint it. Press the edit button. And here is the track. Let me zoom this a bit. So now, now let's open the brushes that uh, you can download from the Evermotion website. So you can do this by pressing this uh, brush and load brush. So here are those uh, brushes. Okay, so I will open the footprint and also and also this uh, tire. So 
So new brushes should appear here. Here's the one and here's the tire track. So let's see how does it work. Um, but first we need to divide this surface because it's in a low resolution. So press Ctrl D and check. I think it's still uh, some bit low resolution. Divide one more time. And I think it press a little bit too hard, so I will in decrease intensity. To something like this maybe. Or even less. So let's paint this like somebody was walking here. Maybe this way. Or first, let's maybe use that track. How does it look like? It's also too ha too strong. Maybe something like this. Okay. Make it smaller. And check it. It's too large. I think it should be something like this size. Okay, and for that way, we can smooth this out. This some uh, artifacts. And add maybe more of these footprints. So again, I will pick this uh, footprint. Let's make this a bit uh, noisy because it's really too straight like for mud. Now we can move this information to the max uh, in uh, two ways. Uh, first, we can bake this uh, information to a displacement map, and second, we can uh, uh <coughs> export this uh, mesh straight to 3ds Max, which I prefer. But uh, in this tutorial, we can we're gonna uh, bake the displacement map from this. Uh, from this uh, <coughs> object. So, um, 
we have to mm, decrease this uh, subdivision to the lowest and press the uh, displacement map open that window and just press the <coughs> create okay the displacement map is uh, ready so all you need to do is uh, press the clone displacement map and here from here you ca you have to press e export and save this as you want so before i uh, open the texture map this displacement texture map in uh, 3ds max i want to make here some changes i want to flip that uh, vertically and and i will save this as a png file so okay now let's move to max let's bring this uh, displacement map okay let's see from the top side okay i think it's okay okay let's create for this uh, v-ray displacement map and this shader I will turn it this diffuse map off because I don't need that actually I will move this here turn it off and this displacement map use here instance instance okay so let's try render this ground just this okay it can't be seen it's to need to be more intense cancel this maybe 32 centimeters let's try now already I can see some tracks here but let's finish the render alright it looks weird like a pink snow so maybe we need to use some diffuse map for this mat so I will cancel this now and in diffuse map I will use this texture okay and also let's let me copy this uh, diffuse map to a bump not so strong maybe like this and some little reflection 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 yes okay 
So let's hit the render. Alright, so gear has almost finished. I think uh, this uh, ground is still too pinky. Maybe I will do some color correction in Photoshop. But anyway, that's the end of this tip of the week. I hope you enjoy this and, and you will know how to use this uh, brush in uh, ZBrush to achieve this kind of uh, prints, footprints and tracks. So thank you and have a nice day.